peaceful as British flashbacks raise this dusty curtain on the modest pad of Paddy or McGraggerty deep in the heart of Ireland. But it won't be peaceful long because Silver Tongue Oma Kelly, an evil rent collector, is smooth talking Paddy's wife, Makushla. But before things get too censorable, Paddy himself comes home. Makushla tells how Silver Tongue tried to collect the rent with interest. And it's a sound thrashing that Silver Tongue gets at the hands of himself. Silver Tongue returns with a brace of blackened cans and a worm, but Patty lays about him with a shillelagh. <laughs> Black and tans are now black and blue, and poor Patty becomes a fugitive. Makushla brings her problem to Mr. McAntony, the evil rent collector's boy. With appropriate gestures, she accuses Silver Tongue of his dastardly actions. In those days, anyone who could point was an actor. Old Mr. McAntony gives the son of the old sod the sack, and besides, he forgot to collect the rent. Now all Makushla has to do is float along with old skin flint so she can join Patty, who has escaped to America. But Silver Tongue's villainy is not yet done. Silently, he has sneaked back to rob Mr. McAnthony's face. <laughs> shattered as though it were made of matchwood. As a matter of fact, it was made of matchwood. And that's the last time they'll ever be able to use that set again, too. Now with his satchel full of McAnthony's rent collection, he's off for a gay life in New York. But the old man thinks he's heard a slight sound coming from the counting room. <laughs> from Ireland is received aboard the good ship Lollipop on that wondrous new invention, the Marconi Graph. Silver Tongue, the message states, is wanted by the police and is on the ship. But as the message falls to the deck, it is pounced upon by a couple of repulsive children belonging to Makushla. And here comes Silver Tongue himself, heavily disguised as an Ocedar monk. Naturally, he doesn't act the least bit suspicious, but Makushla sees through the shrubbery and recognizes him. She doesn't lose her head, even though she'd look better without it, and quickly sends a Marconi gram to the New York Police Department, where, within the very same week, the message is delivered. This is a job for the department's leading police officer, and who does it turn out to be? Whoosh! It's good old Patty O. McGruggerty himself. And where else would you be expecting a fine broth of a man like himself to be getting a job? The man with Lux Reliner docks at its pier, and gay crowds of passengers warm as you are from the steerage. On hand to greet the milling throng is our hero, Patty Omer Gragerty, and a small detachment of New York's finest. But nobody's saying finest what. A happy reunion is effected as Patty greets his long-lost family. And as Silver Tongue appears, Makushla identifies him. So through the wonders of the wireless, New York recruits another policeman. But don't worry, it'll never replace television.